A Course in Miracles, Volume 2, Workbook for Students, Part 2, Lesson 267. My heart is beating in the peace of God. Surrounding me is all the life that God created in His love. It calls to me in every heartbeat and in every breath, in every action and in every thought. Peace fills my heart and floods my body with the purpose of forgiveness. Now my mind is healed, and all I need to save the world is given me. Each heartbeat gives me peace. Each breath infuses me with strength. I am a messenger of God, directed by His voice, sustained by Him in love, and held forever quiet and at peace within His loving arms. Each heartbeat calls His name, and everyone is answered by His voice, assuring me I am at home in Him. Let me attend your answer, not my own. Father, my heart is beating in the peace the heart of love created. It is there and only there that I can be at home. My heart is beating in the peace of God. My heart is beating in the peace of God. I love this sentence. Each heartbeat gives me peace. Just imagine if you feel your heart and you can actually feel your heartbeat on your neck as well. Each heartbeat gives me peace. Every time you feel that doo -doo, doo -doo, gives you peace. Each breath that you take infuses you with strength. And it's something that you can easily picture and actually do a, a self meditation on. Just imagine your heartbeat to do, to do, to do, giving you peace. Imagine every breath you take in, giving you strength. There are times that I was saying to somebody recently that I felt so, the only way I could describe it was flat, that I felt so flat. There's so much going on in my life at the moment. And I just felt emotionally, mentally, physically, spiritually, um, in every aspect of my life, I just felt no energy and a large part is due to the pain that I've, I've been experiencing for the last three years in my body and another large part has been due to my mindset obviously and due to to external circumstances that I have put unnecessary energy into trying to fix instead of going to my source and saying putting into practice here I lay it at your feet here I put it on the altar this is not mine to worry about. I trust in you. But sometimes we get, and it's just natural, we get all caught up in trying to resolve and fix things. And I felt really, really flat. I had no energy left. That all I could manage to do was literally get up, do my job, go back to bed. In fact, the last two days, I, I've pretty much spent a lot of time when I wasn't working in bed because of the pain that I've injured my neck and um, in 2020 when I was in the States. And there's a lot of pain associated with that. And I'm learning to dis not disassociate with it and say that, oh, I don't feel the pain, but not to have the focal point on it, to see it acknowledge it there, I welcome it, there it is, and then I just sit, and I find that that actually helps. It reduces the level of stress, which in its own way reduces the level of pain. So there are so many ways out there and so many people, as we learned in our previous lesson, that are helping point us homeward bound, that have wonderful tools and experience in their own lives here that we can learn from and take from. And if you can take anything from me, it's this. Know that your thoughts are so incredibly powerful. Watch your thoughts. Watch over stimulating your mind. And know that when your energy levels are flat and low, there is nothing wrong with self-care. Take time for you. Take time to just be. 
take time to acknowledge the greatness of who and what you truly are. Be kind to you. Be kind to yourself. My heart is beating in the peace of God and every breath gives me strength. Until next time, take care.